Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Stamford, Connecticut with Jean Paul Reyes, a.k.a. the Long Island Frauditor, as he gets trespassed from the local probation office. Yeah, and I'm sure you want to file lawsuits after this one, dude. Uh, just a quick question. How did your New York one go? Oh, wait, that fell through. Oh, poor little guy. So at any rate, guys, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we're at the Connecticut State Probation Office here in Hartford, Connecticut. Excuse me, Corrupticate. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Uh, everything that guy just says is bullshit. Thank you. Yes, ma'am, do you have FOIA request forms? Mm -hmm. Do you have FOIA request forms? Mm -hmm. Freedom of Information Act oh, oh. for public <laughs> records? Never no, heard of it? When you go to your PO, you're going to see a PO? No, 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 I'm not talking to a PO. Oh, okay, I was going to say ask him. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, you want to file a FOIA request. Yeah, we all know what your game is. You just want to come in here and uh, assert your dominance over them. Like, you think you're all big and bad and that you're the top dog. Well, how'd that work out for you in New York? Because that uh, lawsuit pretty much fell flat on its face and backfired on all the New York frauditors. And I'm sure that many of them uh, really don't like you too much anymore because, well, now they found out that the uh, policies are enforceable in New York. So thank you very much, John. You failed uh, miserably on that front. Yes. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I just spoke to you over the phone. Yeah. I just wanted to give you external affairs information, and okay. I'll be able to give you anything that you're requesting. All right, thank you. Appreciate okay. it. Have a nice day. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, well, I'll be calling you external affairs? Yeah. Judicial branch. Yep. State of Connecticut. Okay. Yep. Thank you for the information. Sure. You want me to walk you up? Oh, no, I'm okay. I have to get some more, uh, some more footage no, in I here. No, I was asked for you to leave or we'll call the state police. And there you go. Asked to leave within less than five minutes and you're probably going to refuse to do so. So, which means you're trespassed and you did all that in less than five minutes uh, Sean, it must be a new personal record for you. Congratulations, Sean. You're a freaking moron. To ask you to leave. Uh, who who From told my supervisor? Your supervisor who yep. is You can stop videotaping me, but you can leave. Who is your supervisor, ma'am? External, external affairs. Who is your supervisor? I just want to know where this order is coming from for me. Regional to manager. Regional manager? Yeah. And his name or her name? You can leave or I can just call the state police to come get you. To escort you out. But why would I need to leave? Because it's a state building and you're videotaping. You don't have permission to videotape here. We don't even allow people to videotape here. Oh, who do I get the permission from? External Affairs. They give me permission to videotape oh, inside of. That's what I was directed to tell state. you. Uh, I don't need permission from anybody, ma'am, unfortunately, for you. Oh, who the hell do you think you are? You don't need permission. Oh, uh, do you own this building? Of course, you think you own this building, like all frauditors tend to think so. But you're about to find out otherwise when you get escorted out of the building. So let's just go ahead and uh, skip on ahead to that section of the video, shall we? Many, many minutes later... Hi, how are you doing? Good. I was a little bit called you. Oh, okay. So I figured I'll meet you downstairs. Okay. Um, before... you can come on up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't lose that elevator. You're so slow. You lost it. No, come on with me. Yeah, I wanted to show you this too. We have this posted in our office regarding electronic devices. Okay. I think when I spoke to one You mind if I get your name and badge number, sir? Louis, 950. Thank you, sir. Um, Appreciate it. Regards to media, it does say that you need to have permission. We have that also in our lobby. Oh, Sean, did you not even bother to go and look at the uh, policies uh, 
on their boards in the office, but on the other hand, you are an experienced auditor, so therefore you know better than to film any of those, uh, well, contradictory uh, posters now. You don't go in there and film it and, uh, for all the world to see and uh, use against you. But at least this uh, employee was smart enough to know where they're located and uh, use it against you. Boy, oh boy, Sean, you are never really the smartest person in the room, are you? Right, man, but if you read the top, it's talking about courtrooms. You just got to read the top paragraph. And, uh, oh, I know, but we consider this because it's a state building for judicial branch. It's part of... It's not a courtroom, a courtroom. though. It's not, though. You might have had to get your name at badge number two, Trooper. It's Sergeant Richardson, badge number 268. Thank you, sir. Appreciate uh, it. Troop H in Hartford. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You know, this video is about 30 minutes long, and most of it is uh, his circular reasoning that is a lot of bullshit and lies and everything like that. And uh, the officer getting in contact with the regional director of the office, uh, it ends up with uh, him being formally trespassed from the building. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? 15 minutes later... So you are not permitted to film on the premises, all right? So you've been informed. So if you continue to film, we're going to take action here. Take action what way? It's a simple trespass, so it's an infraction. So we start off there. So you are you are you aware that you cannot film here? Because I, I notified you now. So I cannot film on the, right where I'm standing. I cannot film. Okay. We're talking about inside the building. Okay, so that's why we need to be clear with our words here, right? So let's be clear. So, so, you, you, so under, you understand in, you cannot film inside the building. You said property, and then you said building. Inside the building, on the property. Inside the building. Okay. Not on the property, inside the building. We're on the property. Public property. So you're saying inside the building, which is also public property, I cannot film, or else... Or I'm just trying look. to get kind of... I'm, I'm try, I'm, you're the okay. one giving. You're the one Here, trying to give unlawful orders, sir. On the right? You, you can film out there. Or else... What would happen to me? Okay, I just explained it to you, right? We're gonna start with a simple trespass infraction. So you'll arrest me? No, it's a ticket. It's a ticketable offense for right now. It's a ticketable offense. Correct. Do you wanna check with your supervisor? Because it, this didn't end well for the last state trooper or- I, I don't wanna check with my supervisor. I'm telling you, you asked me the question, I'm answering. So you understand that you cannot film here, correct? So at this time, I'm gonna ask you to put your phone away. Okay, unless you want to go out there and film, you're more than permitted to film out there. Well, I don't want a ticket. Okay. Are you going to comply with what I'm telling you, yes or no? That, that, that's all I want to know. Well, you, I'm going to go out there, but you could write the ticket anyway. Come on. You could write the ticket. Come on. You could write it anyway. I'm going to go out here, though, and you could write the ticket. Come on. Let's go. And then you could write your ticket. I'm going to move over here to where you say I can't film, where I can film anyway. Your unlawful order violated my constitutional rights, and I want the ticket so I can take you to court and hold you accountable. You can give it to me. You know, I'm just going to end it right here because I hate to see a grown man cry, especially uh, a 
pathetic little frauditor like Long Island Audit because he didn't get his way on this particular day. So, uh, Sean, let me give you some of uh, Black Heart Knight's butthurt cream. Guaranteed to cure any pain in your ass. Guaranteed. Well, not exactly guaranteed in your case because, well, I don't think it works on pathetic little weasels like yourself. But still, you can at least try it, and maybe it'll help you out. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?